Meta has a long history of open sourcing, particularly when it comes to generative AI. Really, for over the past decade, we've been focused on putting open source tools and capabilities into the hands of developers. The reason why we do that is um, we see that open source drives faster innovation, it drives feedback on the products that we're developing and the models that we're putting out into the community. We believe that that ultimately results in safer, um, more performant uh, models and tools. Amazon's been a great partner in the development of open innovation around AI. And I think what's so special about this partnership today is that you know Meta is driving incredible innovation on, on the large language model front, and Amazon brings to the table um, incredible infrastructure and customers who trust that infrastructure. So when you bring together the models that we're building with Amazon Bedrock's infrastructure, it really creates a, a great synergistic relationship where we're bringing something unique and special to developers. Llama models on, on Bedrock uh, really open up a world of possibilities to developers. I think the really unique thing about Amazon Bedrock is the fact that you can basically deploy large language models from, from Meta basically in a no-code way. And you can do that in conjunction with the AWS tools and resources that you're, you know and are already familiar with as a company. And you don't have to worry about scalability. You don't have to worry about managing infrastructure. We see Bedrock as, as a very simple turnkey way for developers to get started uh, using our large language models. I think the bene biggest benefit for customers of, of using Llama models on Bedrock is the fact that you can move very quickly from an idea to a proof of concept to production. Bedrock enables you to scale your usage and has a suite of tools to do everything from fine tuning to building agents, um, to doing retrieval augmented generation, using your, your company's own private data. And generative AI is something that, that most companies are trying to build a strategy on and, and mobilize on, on very quickly. And I think Bedrock is an amazing tool to be able to do that with the Llama models. Llama excels at a wide variety of text-based use cases, so it's very very good at understanding language nuance and reasoning, doing text classification, um, being a coding assistant, developing code, virtually any other kind of text space uh, use case that you could think of. Metalama models uh, come in a variety of, of parameter sizes, ranging from small to large models. We release models that are both base model as well as uh, fine-tuned chat models. So really what this does is it enables developers and enterprises to choose models that best fit their use case and also um, their inference budget. Uh, so smaller models give them the ability to obviously spend less on inference and, and larger models are more performant and um, we've, we put larger models out there for more complex use cases. Aside from um, state-of-the-art performance, I think there are two things that really set Llama models apart from what else is out there in the industry. Developers have more control and are able to customize the models. So when you're working with Amazon Bedrock, you're effectively able to take a model and have it in a private instance, and it's your own personal Llama model. And you can fine tune that model with your own company's private data or your individual private data and retain that model as, as your own. With, with Llama, it's, it's your model and your data. And I think for a lot of enterprises, that's very reassuring to know that they're not sending data out. They can work with their trusted cloud provider in AWS and, and know that their data is secure.